Hey, what's up? How's it going? It's Rob and welcome to Live Curious. Welcome to my garden. Welcome to my rainy garden. It's just started raining as I got set up to film this video. Ankle's still pretty bad. That's why we sat down here, but I have a good video for you today. So between the years of 2000 and 2006, around 24 links were reintroduced to the Haas National Park. Now those numbers are estimated to be around, around 70 individuals. But what makes the Haas reintroduction such a success isn't just the proliferation of links across the landscape, it's also the people's acceptance and then their ingenuity to really capitalise on the reintroduction of the links. In today's video, I want to focus on ecotourism, following a reintroduction and how it benefits the lives of the people living in the area. The Lynx has quite literally become the figurehead of the town bad Harzburg, with the town rebranding itself in 2006. A mural dedicated to the Lynx went up, along with other pieces of Lynx artwork. A gift shop can be found where you can get yourself a piece of bad Harzburg Lynx merchandise to remember your trip by. But the really cool part, and quite frankly, it's a brilliant piece of business strategy, is the Lynx enclosure. The Lynx is, of course, near impossible to spot in the wild, being an incredibly elusive creature. The people recognised this and built a Lynx enclosure. Not only does this enclosure bring the tourists closer to the Lynx, allowing them to understand, appreciate and most importantly experience these otherwise invisible animals, it also brings huge opportunities to the people and businesses of Bad Harzburg. Now around several million people visit the Haas National Park each year and I assume that a large portion of those people are going to see the lynx but those people are going to need hospitalities and amenities, everything from guided walks to hotels to restaurants that gives the local people of that area such great economic opportunities. Quite often the job opportunities of rural areas where reintroductions typically take place aren't as abundant as that of cities. That's why a reintroduction of a species like the lynx can be so valuable to the people of the area. The Kintyre Peninsula in Scotland has been recognised as the most suitable place to reintroduce the lynx. The landscape there and the opportunities for people are very similar to that of Bad Harzburg. The towns are rural, in picturesque locations and a considerable proportion of the economy already relies upon the tourism industry, so it's pretty safe to assume that a lynx reintroduction would bring huge economic benefits to the people. So an existing example of a reintroduction project that is already making money here in the UK was that of the white-tailed eagle to the Isle of Mull where it's estimated to be making around five million pounds every year. Just imagine what a big cat like a lynx could do. So I live in the south of the UK and if you said to me that I could travel up north to a place where the lynx is being being reintroduced and potentially have a chance to see that creature as well, I would say take my money, I'd make a long weekend of it. And I don't necessarily think that I'd be the only one. Um, there is still a lot of work that needs to be done before the links can be reintroduced to the UK, but a really crucial part of that is the acceptance from the local people. Now although the UK is behind much of Europe in terms of the reintroduction of large species like the lynx, there is one positive that we can take from it and it's that, that we can learn from them. There's so much that we can learn from what's already happening. And the reintroduction to Bad Harzburg is just one of those success stories. I'm going to go inside now because everything is getting soaked, the camera's getting soaked, I'm getting soaked. Thanks for watching, leave curious. Oh.